The unauthorized biography of Governor Cuomo hits the bookstores next Tuesday, and unlike his autobiography that came out last fall, this one may sell a lot of copies. It's called The Contender, and it's written by a Vanity Fair editor named Michael Schneerson. The author has said Cuomo never sat down to be interviewed, despite continued promises that he would. And while the book's not out yet, we have already heard a great deal about what's in it, much of it very unflattering to Andrew Cuomo, who we're told is characterized as a control freak and a bully in its pages. And joining us now, our political analyst, New York Post political columnist, Fred Dicker. And I know this is one book that uh, Governor Cuomo Cuomo wishes never came out, Fred. At least from well, what you know, we're hearing, we, we haven't read it yet. But no, it's it's true. And you know, I know something about, about the difficulties of writing a book about Governor Cuomo because I was doing that for a while, and still may in the end wind up doing that. But I've spoken to Michael Schneerson. He's an interesting guy. He's a Vanity Fair writer. As you noted, his book comes out Tuesday. He calls it the contender, and what he means by that, he hopes that Andrew Cuomo someday will be a contender for the presidency because he'd like to sell a lot of books. Mm. But this is a buzz at the Capitol. Already there's been an orchestrated set of releases on the book to promote it that have some juicy stuff in it. For instance, why, according to the author, why is the governor and Eric Schneiderman, the attorney general, uh, always seemingly at each other's throats and have bad relations? It has to do with Eric Schneiderman's first wife, or maybe his only wife, who uh, he's now divorced from, Jennifer Cunningham. It says that Andrew Cuomo, back in the mid-2000s, after he was divorced from Kerry Kennedy, was involved with her, and that was a source of tension. And then the Kennedys themselves. You talk about unloading on the governor, Liz. There's a lot of material in here about the marriage to Kerry Kennedy which really indicates that it did not go, not only did it not go well, but there were years of difficulties and the Kennedys really unload on the governor in this book. Yeah, the New York Times uh, reported, and I'm paraphrasing here, that yeah. a spokesman for the governor called this just sort of unabashed gossip, and that's, but it appears that it's the gossip that's in it that's going to attract the most attention, and certainly the part about the, the marriage to, in, to the Kennedy family sure. and um, his relationship with his father are going to sell books. Well, it's not just gossip, though, Liz. He had, the uh, author has Douglas Kennedy, Kerry Kennedy's brother, quoted at length on the record, and the governor certainly could have answered that and chose not to. Uh, of course, the big question at the Capitol is, will this book sell more than the governor's? It's been a dismal situation for the governor. Only about 3,000 books mm -hmm. of some 100,000 published uh, have been sold, apparently. So we'll see what happens when this book comes out. Right now, it doesn't look like there are any big bombshells in it, but there's some juicy material, and I think there's going to be a good deal of interest. All right. We'll see what happens with it and whether it has any impact on how the sure. public views him as well. Sure. Thank you, Fred. And Fred, of course, on the radio, live from the state capitol every weekday morning, 10 to 11 on Talk 1300 AM radio.